Anyways, hello, Mr. Burr. Uh, what is this? Pathetic cheater. Uh, I am currently a high school freshman. My dilemma and or issue is my father. Him and my mother are married and have been for the past six years. My Okay, so it's obviously a second marriage here for somebody. Uh, my mom has been divorced, there we go, before with my brother's father. Whew, this is like one of those math problems. If a train is leaving... Um, she married my dad when I was seven, probably. <laughs> Did you just, like, dictate this and somebody, like, typed it out? This is very conversational. She married my dad when I was seven, probably. She stayed with him through a lot of physical fighting, previous cheating, and she still believes he's still a good guy. He's currently unemployed and has been for almost three years and claims he's sick of not working. But every time my mom tries to apply him for a job, he gets an attitude which I think if you're a male and you're not the provider of your family and are in no rush and are in no rush to be the provider, it makes you a bitch of a man. That's his job, isn't it? Um, so as, as of recently, being the last three years after moving my... What the fuck? So as of recently, being the last three years after moving my mom has been the sole source of income. And he's been home every day collecting unemployment of 200 bucks. Uh, laying on his ass doing nothing but calling up random hideous women and going behind her back on random dating websites claiming things he wants to do sexually to these random women. Jesus Christ. Sounds like the Dwight Yoakam character in Sling Blade. Get out of my fucking house. Why don't you go home and practice, Randy? Um, I can't stand that I've known... And haven't said anything, but I feel would crush my mom. Yeah, that's tough, dude. Who's now reaching 50 and being cheated on twice. Should I tell her? Oh, twice before by other men? Yeah, it's a pattern. She keeps picking the same guy, if that's what you're saying. By the way, he's cheating on my mom in front of me, not physically, but he knows I know and doesn't care. He doesn't interact with me the way a father should. He's worthless in my opinion. Sounds like it. Jeez, this is depressing. What should I do? It tears me apart. I am shamed to be known as his son. I'm just lucky I have my mother, my mother's father to look down to the T. That way I have... Oh. I'm just lucky I have my mother's father's look down to a T. That way I have no physical connection with the douche that is my father. And don't worry, this won't reflect on me and how I'll be when I'm a parent. It only encourages me to do better. Dude, I'm going to tell you, that's about all you can do. All right? That's about all you can do, is just learn from this situation. Try not to repeat it. Um, as far as telling your mother or not telling your mother, um, I don't know. I, I'm going to give you bad advice here, because my first thing is going to... I don't know. I kind of got angry... Th at that dude in the middle of that. And I'm going to try to tell you to say something you shouldn't fucking say. So I, I don't know how many more years I'm doing, trying to do the math. What do you got? A couple more years at home. Just fucking ride it out. Get out of that house. I, you know, dude, I don't know. These are tough questions this week. I don't fucking know. What do you tell them? You know, is your, it, if you, you feel like your mother's going to be able to hear that, take it in and kick this bum out on his ass. Um, I mean, there's plenty of dating sites and that type of shit out there for somebody who is 50, I would think, at this point. Um, there's got to be some over 50, not a bum-ass piece of shit dot com, social networking or something. I don't know. I don't know, dude. That, that's up to you. I, don't, I mean, I can't read two paragraphs of shit that that's, that's that deep. Um, I mean, that's fucking years of shit. God, I sound dumb. Look. The best thing I got out of that is that you're looking at this stuff objectively saying, I don't want to be that, and I'm not going to be that. Fuck that guy. Uh, that's what you should do. Your revenge should be living this awesome life and go out and find yourself a great girl and build the life you want to build. Go after your dreams. Make some money. All right? Move your mother into the house at some point. All right? Have a mother-in-law suite above the garage and tell that fucking bum he can go sit on the sidewalk because he's not invited. There you go. Maybe that can be your goal. Um, all right. 